The Crown Estate has released a record set of results this morning. Profit is up almost 10% to $230 million, and the value of the estate has broken through the $7 billion mark for the first time. I've come to Regent Street, the heart of the estate, to talk to Chief Executive Roger Bright about the results and about his retirement at the end of the year. You agreed a landmark partnership on Regent Street um, and a partnership on the nearby Gateway project during the year. Um, so are you in talks with other potential partners elsewhere, perhaps on the St James's plans that you're, that you're working on at the moment? Not at the moment, but uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, you're likely to see the Crown Estate increasingly uh, embarking on partnerships, mm -hmm. uh, not least because uh, we're constrained to the extent that we can borrow. Uh, I suspect in, Re in St James's we will probably enter into further partnerships in due course, but mm. they're likely to be on a project-by-project -project basis rather than uh, in, in, as we did on Regent Street in relation to the entire asset. Um, it's been a very high-profile year for the Crown, um, including the first parliamentary inquiry into the organisation for some 20 years. Um, that inquiry raised some concerns, particularly about whether the Crown carries out enough stakeholder consultation. Have you made some changes in response to that? Are things sort of evolving? Well, I think we've always prided ourselves on our stakeholder engagement and also our ability and determination to work with communities where we have uh, dominant ownership. Mm. But nevertheless, we took the point that the select committee were making and we made sure that we've sort of sharpened up the principles on which we consult uh, and we've now set those out and they're published on our website. I don't think we're, we're ever complacent, there's always room for improvement. As we know you'll be retiring um, at yeah. the end of the year after 10 years in leading the Crown Estate. Mm -hmm. um, Part of, of your work has been turning it into a much more commercial organisation. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel it, it's there now? Is it um, able to compete effectively enough with competitors and, um, and to deliver its ambition of contributing £250 million per annum to the Treasury? Well, I think I would say you can never be complacent and you must always continue to be ambitious. But I think we are well on track to continue to succeed. Mm -hmm. And we have set ourselves a target of £250 million revenue surplus in 2014. And I'd be very confident that uh, we'll achieve that. Uh, I think a lot has changed in the last 10 years. Uh, we have a clear vision. We have a clear strategy. We've got clear values, commercialism, integrity and stewardship. And in particular, we've recruited now a really top quality workforce right the way across the business. Mm -hmm. And they are going to be crucial in making sure that we continue to achieve our results. Mm -hmm. I think commercialism is, is very important for the Crown Estate. If we can't perform commercially, then we're going to be in difficulty. But it's also very important for us to balance that with our values of integrity and stewardship and not to lose sight of the fact that we do have a history and we do have a number of very sort of valuable historic assets which are in our care. So all the time it's striking a balance to ensure that uh, we do operate commercially but we do have a regard to the wider picture and we continue to take the long-term view.